This is Bob Anderson, and um, I'm going to do a video for my three trades that I took on November 9th, 2022, that were continuation trades between 9.45 and 10.30. Figure if I, while I got time, I can kind of keep showing you these trades so you can see how they lay out. Um, and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> true to form though, I uh, I had two wins, one loss. The loss was a mistake on my part. You know, again, uh, human error, I talk about it. And then there was a third trade, there was a fourth trade that I missed um, because I was on the phone, which is what caused me to get out of my second winning trade early also. You know, when I... Certain people call me, I, I just like, I got to answer the phone and I don't want to be sitting in a trade while I'm talking to them. So anyways, so let's just talk about what, what results I had. Let's show, let me show you the, the trade layouts on the continuation trade. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you an observation that I had just today because I'm, I'm evaluating other markets um, too on a go forward basis. But anyway, so. First trade I took was, uh, I'll show it to you. It was at, uh, remember, after 9.45 on the ES, so it was at 9.56. I took a short. Yes, I took a short. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting better at them. I took a short, and I got five points. I got five points in one, in two minutes. Five points in two minutes. I don't think I took a tick of heat on that one. Anyways, and then I made another entry at about uh, 10.01, which was a mistake. Because it was news at 10, and it rolled back against me, and I lost 10 ticks. That was my mistake. But that's okay. Then we had a crossover to the long side, and I took a trade at uh, 10 14 long, and I was in the middle of that trade, and it literally was going for my five points, and uh, and that's when my phone rang. That I was in that one two minutes, and I closed it out with a 2.75 points per contract. Um, so, what that result ended up meaning. In just that short window, 9.45 to 10.30 that I talk about, it was $262.50 a contract. I traded two contracts on that, so I $525 for me today on uh, those three simple continuation trades. As a matter of fact, if, if I hadn't screwed up, it would have been a lot more than that because I never should have taken this trade. Yep, I should have just had 10 points. I should not have, should have, probably should have answered my phone. But anyways, you know, that's where we talk about, where I talk about here's, here's the chart and here's your optimization that you get as a human versus, versus uh, you know, the simulation of running it, you know. Anyways, so I'm going to show you these trades. I, I, I mean, like I said, I ended up with $525 for sitting in front of the screen for not even 45 minutes. So that's not bad. Five hundred dollars for forty-five minutes of work. I don't consider that bad. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you that chart. I'm going to show you all three of those trades, even the mistake. I'm going to show you the entry because the entry was proper. The trade itself was a mistake because of the timing. And then I'm going to show you an observation I had on oil today. So here we go. You ready? There we go. Let me get this chart set up here. Let me get this. Hopefully that's clear enough. Uh, so, so here we are. Let me get this. I want to push this down a little more so you can see the time. Let me go back to this so you can see the time. All right, so... 9.45 is right here, right here. So I'm not looking for anything until after 9.45 because you got to have all the noise from the market open and stuff. 
This, this is your red line from your five minute. Okay, remember I, I imposed it on this chart from my five minute chart. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. So we are below the red line from a five minute chart. So we're only looking for shorts again. So I would have been, I would have had a, you know, I would have had a sell limit sitting down here with my two contracts waiting for, waiting for the, uh, for a setup. So we came, my favorite setup, we came across the red line on the one minute down to a new pivot. And then we had a higher low and another higher low into the gold line. And there's my short right there. It's hard to see because the darn thing comes in pink. But anyways, uh, let me see here. Arrow. Uh, where's the arrow? Uh, 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 arrow. So my entry was literally right right there, right there, one tick below this candle. So that was two contracts short, 3805. I mean, and then next, can next candle, next candle, you see. I mean, you see. So we ended up getting at 3800 even. By the way, I saw that my target was 3800 even, and I went, oh God, <laughs> please don't tell me we go down to it and then, and then roll up. But anyways, uh, no, it blew right through. I mean, it went another five points all in one candle. I mean, it dropped like a freight train. But anyways, uh, so I got my five points. So then we had a, a roll up, another higher, another higher into the gold line. And I had my short right here. Well, that was when the freaking news hit. And so I was, it went my way for, let's see here, I was in it. 3,825. So it went my way for about a point and a quarter. And then it just ran right up, knocked me out for five points. Actually, it was more than a point and a quarter. It's a point and a half. Rolled up, knocked me out for my 10, for my 10, 10 ticks. And that was my mistake. This trade never should have happened. My mistake. Then we crossed the five minute red line along with the one minute red line had a roll up this never touched right here this never actually touched this gold line even though it looks like it did rolled up created a new pivot high rolled down into the gold line and i took my long you can see this one because it's showing up as blue on the longs took it right there had a little hesitation rolled up and it actually so my long was at uh 38 20, which means my target would have been 38.25, which was right here. So you can see I hit target, but this is when I got my phone call. I closed out that trade like a, like a, like an idiot. I wish I had let it run, of course, obviously, but you know, hindsight is 2020. Now I'm going to show you this. I was on the phone. Okay. So keep that in mind. I was on the phone. We created a new pivot high here, rolled back down into the gold line. And then boom, you should have had another long right at the same price point. Right at the same price point at 38.20. You should have had another one right there. This one ran all the way up to 38.24.75. So it didn't get you five points, but I'd have a hard time letting one go a tick from five points and, and having it roll all the way back on me. So I didn't take that trade, but if I wasn't on the phone, I would have, and I probably would have got knocked out at even. So, um, but anyways, one, one big win here, one loss that never should have happened. Another win here that should have been a bigger win. Another one that could have at least been a break even. Now what, here's what happened after 1030. I gave up again. Watch these things, folks. These are, these are patterns cross back over the one minute and the five minute down, create a new pivot low. Rotation, 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 bam. Holy sheesh. That rolled over for, for, let's do the math here. The entry on this one should have been uh, 38.11, 15 points. 
But anyway, so so there was another one right after 1030 that I did not take. Uh, I, 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 I had it in my mind I was going to quit at 1030. Well, of course, I was on the phone during all this. So I missed this one and I was just I was just done. But anyways, $525, two contracts. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. But there was more money left on the table. This should have been a full 10 points. This probably a break even. Um, this another five points right here. These, these, those are the trades that you should have seen if you were looking for this stuff yourself. Okay. Now, I mean, just simple boom, 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 five points. Boom, 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 five points. This is what I try to show you guys. And I mean, it's, you know, somebody wrote a note on my, uh, on my video last night that, uh, there's, there's, uh, the problem with YouTube is there's many million dollar traders on YouTube, but none of them willing to help. <laughs> but at least Bob puts the effort together. And I, and I, and I do, uh, I'm not a million dollar trader, nor do I pretend to be, but I am willing to help. And I mean, if you look at today's price action, every person that trades continuation trades should have made money today, period. Period. This stuff was right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Little Sopranos there, the bada bing for you. Anyways, I'm going to show you an observation that I had on oil today. Again, I put an oil chart up because I've gotten used to now having the five minute, having this on here and not having to look at my five minute chart anymore. So I thought, well, why don't I create an oil chart? Because I know that price action on oil is somewhat similar to price action on the ES. Just, it really is. So I want to show you guys an observation and something I'm going to spend a lot more time reviewing going forward, honestly, because oil is a beast when it's working for you, boy. It can make you money and make it fast. And oil opens at nine o'clock. So you need to understand you need to give it about 15 minutes to breathe, just like I give the ES 15 minutes to breathe. And once that 15 minutes is over, you can kind of start looking for the patterns. Okay, so... So let's, here's oil. This is a one minute chart. This is not a five minute chart, even though it's over here on my right. Okay, so this is, again, this is um, 9.15 right here, okay? So this is all your noise from the open. And then it starts calming down. Well, look at, it rolled up, boom. That's your five minute gold line. I, I simulated it onto this chart to kind of bring the major support resistance lines onto all, all onto one chart, which is my one minute chart. This is the five minute gold line. This is the five minute EMA, which is an, which to do it on, on a one minute chart, you need to set your EMA to 45 because this one right here, on the one minute is nine. So nine times five is 45. Roll up, boom, bam. This entry from here is right at right at $88. I mean, in, in one candle, two candles, boom, you're down 35 ticks. That's $350 a contract. So you just imagine you're doing 20. There's 200 bucks right there, 200 bucks right to there. This thing rolled down, rolled up, boom. Gold line again. Here you're in at 87.72. So you're looking for 20, which would be 52. Well, that's right. Here, your second candle. So it took you two minutes, boom, 52, 200 more dollars. Roll down, rolled up. Here's your, here's your five minute again, 87.68. I don't even need to tell you how far that went down. That went down over 50 ticks. It's $500. But here's your $200 right in here again. I mean, <clears throat> it's something I'm going to start paying attention to. Because, again, that's not by accident. That right there, that price action off that five-minute uh, EMA, nine EMA on the five-minute, i.e. 45 on the one-minute, that reaction three times in a row 
before you even got to 10 minutes, I mean, 10 o'clock is not by accident. Anyways, just my observation of the day. I always like to look at charts and look for anomalies. Um, so that's my continuation trade for the day. $525, two contracts for, for those of you doing the, uh, for those of you doing the evaluations, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, if you did it exactly the same way I did, that's $262. You know, like I said, if you're doing a $50,000 account, 10 days, boom, you got your, you got your account. I mean, in this, go back and look at the one minute chart today because it was it was over and over and over again the exact setups the exact entries the exact whatever from from literally 9 45 to just after 10 30. everybody have a good day uh, i'll talk to you later bye